like part four of my boombox project and I've discovered a problem with the Bluetooth amplifier and I've been trying to find ways of solving it and it seems like um, the problem arises with the antenna. This is the uh, Bluetooth amp. I haven't finished building it yet. Uh, I put in the speakers testing the sound right now and seems like the Bluetooth amp cuts in and out and I think I found the problem and that is of course the antenna the blue tube comes with just a chip antenna you see those contacts there that's the antenna contact this other one here has a built-in antenna but even with this antenna it's not that great sometimes it cuts in and out and more so with this one here. So the solution for me is uh, you can hook up an external uh, antenna. I just use a test clip, clip it to the contacts there. You see the swiggly wire? And make sure when you clip on it, you click on those uh, metal parts. And I just hang the antenna outside the cabinet. You can probably um, use a longer piece of wire and hook it and tape it to the back or something like that. I'll probably solder something on there. This improves like 90% of the Bluetooth problem and I no longer have the Bluetooth dropping out. So that is my quick solution. And then of course also when I'm handling the amp because I don't have the knobs on there. If I touch it bare hand, I guess you have static electricity and all that. And it uh, it creates some um, interference, like uh, noise or something like that. So maybe until you put knobs on it, put some rubber gloves or something. And then the third thing that seems to affect the Bluetooth is of course your other Bluetooth devices. I have a Mac and I'm uh, using the YouTube audio library to play the music so I can put on YouTube because they're non-copyrighted. And when I'm moving the mouse around or when I'm playing music, when I click on it, there's a slight conflict because this is a Bluetooth mouse and I'm sending the signal to my speaker there through Bluetooth so there's a little bit of uh, static when I do that so as soon as you stop moving the mouse the uh, static would stop so those are the few things that I found out uh, that would affect the Bluetooth performance and that is uh, why I didn't want to build the electronics inside the box uh, a lot of people put the electronics inside I don't think uh, that's a great idea because uh, you have a lot of heat build up and I'm planning on using lithium ion batteries. I, I don't really want to seal them up in a box and uh, so I'm still in the middle connecting everything. I uh, A lot of switches. This is the easy part just hooking it up but to put it in place, the wires, the uh, bus box, the bus bar, those are the difficult parts. Uh, but last night I got the speakers hooked up. So, all right, let's uh, play a tune or two to see what it sounds like. Let's see here. Try this one here. There's a 10 inch passive radiator in the back there. The sound makes a whole lot of difference if you play this, place this against a wall. Whereas uh, when I put it in the middle of the room, the sound is much thinner. This is bass, treble, treble volume. 
total volume. In all honesty, this dual 10 inch actually has a better bass. This I have to turn down the bass. This I have to turn up the bass a little bit to get the cones moving in and out wildly. I don't really want to do that because uh, the sound gets kind of uh, distorted if you play the bass too loud. I don't think that's really for uh, good listening. So I do like a bassy sound. That's uh, from Carmel Shays. It's called. Uh, it's actually Silent Partner. Carmel Shays. 
And the other tune I play first is The Wrong Time by Silent Partner. That's all from YouTube Audio Library. All right, got a lot more work to do wiring this up. Thanks for watching.